Aloha, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We have our big brother Aaron back with us, Corey Fujimoto, and our special guest. Uh, well, what where is our special guest? guest? <laughs> Corey, where is he? Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, it's Mr. Noah Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> hey. Hey. Bro, how you got Hello. there? <laughs> <laughs> nice, oh. nice. Mm -hmm. Entrance. Entrance. The, the magic still Entrance. works. Oh, wow, yeah. the bug was good. The bug was good. It's great, man. Thanks for having me here. Thank you Thanks, for being uh, here. Thanks, Brother Kaleb, Brother Aaron, Brother Corey. Thanks for letting me be here. Well, you know, it comes at a price, my man. You got to play us some song. Oh, sure. That's yeah. automatic. <laughs> <laughs> that is automatic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're going to... I don't want to ruin your song, but... Uh, Corey, play with him. Come if on. I uh, do anything wrong, just punch feel free you. to hit me. Punch yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Lovingly. I'm gonna punch lovingly. you. Lovingly <laughs> punch him. Just don't 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 punch the you. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> Just no, no. don't don't aim in this area. Uh I can't. Hey, if you this, punch this him, costs money. You catch his head, I catch his butt. Yeah. <laughs> <That's logic>. <laughs> <laughs> so um, This has worth? This doesn't. So oh. it's, it's, it's okay. Oh really? I have insurance. Thank you for right, that. Even wore the red shirt, check him out. He got the Hawaiian punch right on the shirt. Harry Duck is and all. Just a warning for me. Yeah. If you get a close up on this hair, <laughs> really good. Pretty detailed. Oh, yeah. this is a very detailed shirt. Oh, yeah. I thought oh, maybe yeah. the hair was sticking in your hey, shirt. No, who makes that shirt? Who makes the shirt? Oh, this is a uh, homegrown. Yeah, mm. this is homegrown. Uh, brother uh, Gerald Ayo oh, from Manalo. Yeah. Manalo boy represent? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. That's, that's, how we, that's how we knew each other. Was yeah, right, exactly. Manalo, from Kilo High School. Yeah, yeah, but, that uh, guitar. Yeah, uh, yeah, listen to this. Awesome. Hey. Corey, uh, you should get one. Uh, if I uh, remember correctly, that is my guitar. <laughs> oh, really? It, 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 well, got, uh, I think my um, your creative stuff. juices. Yeah. Not I'll, juices. I'll it. Not oh. juices. I think no, I think Corey got yeah, jacked, yeah. but no, I took his guitar. No, 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 no. Ah, it was a, kindly to just uh, a good old Hawaiian borrowing. Lend oh. me it. Yeah, lend me it just a little the bit. The Hawaiian land is in. Give me that thing. No. Oh, oh, it's yours. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's all good. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, real, um, I'm going to do a little medley of songs. Uh, oh, keep me surprised. I like surprises. Me too. <laughs> Every Christmas. Hey, <laughs> oh, what is this rap thing? Oh, yeah. Hey, gift card. <laughs> oh, same as last year. Children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy to receive those gift cards. Oh yeah, I think Kenny did. Good evening. He's flying over 
this. Dang. Oh, I went to uh, I went to a different world for for a while. Oh, Dang. He's, he's gonna <laughs> teleport it to somewhere where, else. Where, where, where did you go? Where was that? I don't know. Cory World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that world every every Cory World. Anyway, how long does it take? For? To get to, uh, to get there? 15 oh, minutes. Nah, <laughs> 15, 15 minutes. About well, 45 minutes. Millisecond. Millisecond. It's when he <laughs> does all this crap. You know, he, he does this and, and you go. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I haven't heard you guys play that in years. Crap. Oh, um, maybe, I don't know. It's been three, about two years. But two, three years? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Wow. Time. But, uh, years. <laughs> wow. But yeah, flying from. Uh, from Kalapana. Yeah, that was yeah. just a little... We used to, we used to play that. Yeah, high school. that was just a little twist. In, in that's a while ago, huh? Thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> See, Noah and I went to high school together at Kailua High. And even even back then, he was he was always, like, a phenomenal player. But hearing him play, like, I swear, I was I was worried about you, bro, because I, I, thought, I thought I was going to drown you. Over here, because, oh, that thing gave me the feel. I'm getting sweaty, huh? Oh. I was getting oh, the feels. I brought the Kleenex or nothing. Oh, bro, for nothing. You need the training pants for the puppies. <laughs> hey, I should have been wearing a diaper, bro. Oh, hey, the but uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Hey, uh, no trip on your way out. Right? Hey, hey, bro, I'm gonna get stuck to the floor. <laughs> you gotta have the yellow sign. Caution, wet. <laughs> no, no, okay, in all seriousness. No, what tuning is that? This is actually a slacky tuning. So if you take off the capo, this is actually C. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, if my tuner allows it to become C. C. So C, G, D, G, B, D. So basically that's just like the... Um, Slacky tuning. Oh. Yeah. So. Can you can you tell us how come when you put the capo on you tune them again? How come you do that? Oh, because uh, sometimes um, uh, like the it kind of puts tension on the strings, kind of capos. bends the note a little bit. Yeah, it, it kind of pulls it pulls the string up, so it bends the string just a little bit. But uh, we gotta tune it just a just a real quick a little bit. second. Yeah, that's it. So this being here in this position without the capo. So far, if you was to put it on the second capo, you got a D. And lots of songs that can be played in D. If you want to play in E, that's fine too. Uh, F, G, and Z. Z. <laughs> Z oh, what course. they taught me in school is <laughs> wrong. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know if they... <laughs> They taught only music at your school? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta teach brocanic, brocanic music theory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In my bro vocabulary. In my vocabulary. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of words exist. Well, you know what? Okay, so, and this is this is the thing. with It's very rare that a player can be so comfortable in the tuning that they can actually play along with somebody. Normally, if you play in G, like I, I play slacky, but I play if I play in G, guess what key I'm going play in? And if I keep walking, I'm keep walk. Noah can play just about anything in any tuning he's in, and he just slides the capo around, and and it's because he knows the f like the entire way to play that. Mm -hmm. thing. He, I, I've heard him play stuff that's not slack key. Yeah, know? we were playing earlier, and I was playing a song, and he's like, "Oh, puts a capo on and starts playing." I was like, "Crazy, what?" Hey, F you. <laughs> and yeah, I was like, I was like, uh, <laughs> I immediately put the ukulele down. I was just like, no, no, yeah. But just the, um, the, the whole, you know, slacky stuff. And I kind of have a switch to turn it off and turn it on, you know, and there's like, I have to force myself to learn um, regular standard um, tuning yeah. chords. And, um, uh, I'm lazy too. I don't tune it back if I gotta play. <laughs> oh no, to me, I, I can. I, like ah, just, just figure it out in the. There's a lot in less tuning. tuning. Yeah, is, but this I find is the. Real, there's a different sound to it. Too. Yeah, definitely it has the bottom end. It carries yeah. the real bottom end, and you can just do all little, throw a little magic and a little glitter here, a little glitter there. You just play there. one chord as bad. Ah. Play a C oh, yeah, again. The, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
nicely sounds like. Oh, sorry. Ooh, the fullness. Hey, the voicings that you get from that is yeah. like very interesting. Oh, it's just limitless. Yeah, that's that's the one of the reasons why I like to play it, especially if I'm playing solo. Or if I'm playing, accompanying somebody else, mm. it just adds so much adversity. And you're, you're so versatile in it, though. I remember, um, was what, like a couple weeks ago when I went to your house, mm. you was playing that Celtic song in, in like some in slacky crazy tune. slacky tune. Oh, no, but well, that's not yeah. actually a slacky tune. Well, I mean, I guess you could say a slacky because you, you're you smacking oh, the dad keys. Dad gad. Right? Dad gad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Let's so, use the B, B, D so. to me. Can you show us some dad gad stuff? Like dad gad, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Weary. So all we're doing is we're just tuning the strings D A D A. This is G, so I gotta tune it up. So that's tuned up to A. And I tuned the B string down uh, down to A. seven chord or a major chord yeah which is welcome to 2020 every time we start talking theory chord it gets like okay <laughs> yeah and um like or a minor chord like say for instance that one uh song from uh last of the mohicans oh yeah yeah, the, yeah, yeah the gale the gale the gale um It's like three, three different chords in one. Yeah, definitely. It's just crazy. I mean, whoever came up with these tunings and behind those, the, the theory of that. With some animal skins it's through a gale. grass field. It's right? called the gale, baby. Right? Yes. I'm running with some animal skins on through the grass field. And it's, ah. Okay, hey, brother. I was feeling mighty Celtic or whatever. But I, Were you wearing a. Yeah, I'm joking. Hey, hey. It's a <laughs> kilt. It's a kilt. It's a kilt. It's not the dress. It's, it's a, a kilt. It kind of looks like a skirt. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 
Aaron Wallace. I might have an Irish son. Aaron Wallace. Bro. Wait, Clay yeah. is part Irish. A you bit. are. A, a little bit. Tiny bit. Oh, Conor McGregor sitting next to me. A little bit. Do you own your own Scotch company? No, I'm joking. Proper yeah, 12. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, proper I'm 12. So glad that, I'm so glad that I don't, because I wouldn't have nothing to sell. Lucky <laughs> Charms? And he would drink a ball breath. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then he would probably drag me over here and drink him with him. So it's like, oh boy. I for think at this at this rate we're all Mo part Irish. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what kind of last name is Campbell? <laughs> oh, Campbell is a Scottish. Scottish, name. sorry. Scottish. 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 No, no, no. Not to no, be confused no, no, no. with Irish because Brad, that's fighting words. Oh, exactly. I say. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all, man, not at all. Because I think they moved to Ireland. <laughs> Ireland. Because <laughs> they was hiding from the British. <laughs> oh. hey, yeah, the, the Campbells got kicked out, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, not for that history kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we, we not talking about all kind of history. <laughs> Ancient history, like when we was in high school. <laughs> That's about 40 years ago, right? Hey. <laughs> 50, 60, Woo. 60 AD. <laughs> <laughs> 60 AD. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it seeing a dinosaur in person? Uh, it wasn't that big. <laughs> I've seen bigger. Aaron sent me in Moses in second grade. <laughs> it was right. You know what? He used to pick his nose again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, with, with this tuning, uh, I, I discovered a lot of things, um, like many tunings too. I can see so, why you use it. Jeez. No, yeah. Um, like there's this one song from Country Comfort, uh, to be lonely. Um, I, I found it really useful to be in this tuning capo up to the second that would make me be in E. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'll play this one song. It's kind of cool because like the like okay so it's, it's a country comfort song yeah but there's kind of like the you're able to get like a jim Pro, jim croce kind of vibe to the oh definitely the yeah so. but you know the fingering is it's you gotta get used to it because you gotta make quote unquote booger man cards yeah. you gotta stretch your fingers just a little well, bit well i mean helps if you get hands like you like when dan locked up this you know what i mean so it is hands you do like regular normal hands <laughs> just you know five times bigger than He slaps you. He slaps you this way. You feel. You feel it over here. Go slap those guys. I thought it was a baseball glove. He shows the baseball practice without the glove. That's that's his actual handprint. Brother can catch one football. Oh man! He doesn't punch your face. He punches your whole head. Yeah. Oh man! But no, like so. How did you how did you get into Slack Key, bro? Like, I mean, what? Oh, interesting hey. question, bro. So, uh, when I was like seven years old, so I'm catching the bus from school, okay? So I'm, I'm coming home, walking with my bag, I'm walking into my front door, open it, and my father is in the living room, and he's playing his guitar. So he's playing uh, Opihi Moi Moi. Um, maybe later on, if you have time, yeah. I'll show you the song. But um, so I hear that. And I just immediately just kind of closed the door. My bag came off of my, my shoulder. And I kind of walked up to him with a, kind of like a, like a cheesy smile. Like, 
<laughs> what's, what's what that? is that? Yeah. <laughs> so and then I just sat in front of him, and then he he was pretty much playing um, the song, and he was kind of like almost done with it, and I was like, oh. was that a slacky tune? Yeah, that was a slacky tune. That was Taro Patch, um, DG DG BD, and he was just going in, and it was like. <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> yep. Play it again. Is it, okay, you want to learn it? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, long story short, um, that was the whole beginning of um, me learning how to play Slack E. And um, ever since then, yeah, that's it, man. I remember, so when, when we first met, I was 10th grade, you was... I was ninth grade, yeah. Ninth grade, and... Yeah. and you were already more than proficient, and had you, me, Paula Fuga, John Born. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, I remember. We yeah. sat, and we had jam sessions with the kind of uh, Tamo Kama Kea. That was fun. Hey, it was good fun times, man. But what I remember most about, about you was that it didn't matter what the thing was tuned to. You had a high proficiency in that. And this has only grown over the years. And I've, like, I mean, shit, we've been, we, we know each other forever. And, and yeah. I, every time I see you, you grow musically and i think a big part of that is because you've been playing with uncle dell lately and well yeah bro, that's what monster bro oh yeah and it's it's kind of intriguing to me on you know why he wants me on his group you know and, and i explained <laughs> I to him tell you why bro. I tell <laughs> you right now like, <laughs> i just heard it well, <laughs> well me exactly. i'm i'm nobody i mean I'm, I'm i'm just a regular guy who likes to play music yeah but, but you, you play it extremely well to the point that it makes the rest of us feel quite inadequate bro. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 i don't know why i'm up here no <laughs> but cory ev everybody in in this room are really great musicians and i'm really honored to be in this presence right here oh, yeah, me to have you my brother and you know i'm i'm just nobody but <laughs> yeah. you know and you know when um when I finally met Uncle Dell, you know, and um, it was kind of like um, when he asked me the question, "Hey, what? So you play music?" I'm like, "Ah, just a little bit." And then we finally played music Understand together. Of the century. Yeah, and we we kind of played music together, and it was like, "Oh wow, hey, what? The gig what?" <laughs> You know, it was like, but holy smokes! Okay. It was kind of like me shooting hoops, you know, like a regular guy, and Michael Jordan coming up to the guy, coming up to me, and say, "Hey, buddy, like be on my team." Or like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ever, you never wonder about that though, because tell me this is not true. You guys all, everybody here knows, right? Whenever Noah plays with somebody, what is the first thing they say? Oh, oh, yeah, I remember. and then wow. it's like, oh, bro, you like gig. <laughs> it's everybody, everybody, because the guy can fit in any situation. You know what I mean? Which is amazing, because you know if he play with you, you're gonna have to feed him. And look, he's as big as me. So <laughs> I'm trying to fight the Momona virus. The Momona virus has been really cruel to me. <laughs> me too. Me I screamed, too, yeah. I screamed, yeah. All, all, the, all the way you lost, brother. No way, I fought him. Cheers, <laughs> out. I fought him one, one month ago. One month ago. Forgive me. Forgive Momona me. Had. Oh, but yeah, but, but in general, you know, it's just no matter who I'm playing with, I'm just in the moment and I love playing music, no matter who it is. And I, I've been telling you since we was young, the one thing that in my humble opinion sets you apart from just about everybody I know is you have this innate ability to have people time travel. You know what I mean? Like we sit down, we listen to you and I swear to God, I'm back in high school. I can hear, bro, like. It, it changes just for a minute in time where I am. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's that's one gift, bro. You get you get one gift. And it's it's one of those things that like I'm I'm humbled to even be a friend because oh, you get man. to hang out and I get to see see this wonderful gift that you share with everybody oh, else. Yeah. I don't mean to be a wise ass, but <laughs> fuck man, give me some tissues. <laughs> well, I right. never said that to me before. Hey, that's Syria, man. <laughs> But thank you. Hey, love, you might, love you, you too, die, man. You, you love all you guys, man. Yeah, this is, bro. this is um, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, this yeah. experience is is freaking awesome, man. It's excellent, and I'm, I'm super happy to be part of this. And I think thank you. For, no, thank you for, for real, bro. Like I and 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 I wish, I wish he was here for for me to be able to tell him that you know, like, hey, thank you to your father for for prepare, for perpetuating that gift through you. Oh, 
right, because it, right. it's something that is much needed in this time right now in Hawaiian music. So, oh yeah, and yeah. you know, I, Mahalo, Mr. Kem. Oh, you're you welcome, man. Sure. You know, and I, for a while, I've wondered. I mean, why do I play music? Why do I do it? It's because, and I thought about it really good, and really hard, and really long, and um, why did I start? It's because when my father and my uncle, when they played music together, and it was like magic, yeah. and um, it made everybody happy. Well, they instilled that yeah. in you, my brother. Because, like, for real, like, it, uh, like, in, I mean, Corey and Kalei are seasoned musicians, and they can tell, like, they get the oh, same feels I get when we hear when we hear you play, right? It's like there's something, something magic is happening, and it's a yeah. different feeling. And that's that's what I want to instill in other people when I play music. And I want them to time travel and remember when they heard that song, why they heard the song, when they heard that song, and how they felt when they heard that song. That's why I play the music that I play. I consider it to be quite an honor to like like all of you guys. Like I'm my my closest friends, my my you guys my ohana, you know, and and you guys are the, the best musicians in Hawaii. And I get to I get to be friends with you guys and, and hang out with you guys and and to tell people, hey brother, that's my friend. Hey, hey you know, no yeah. camera, he's that's my that's Steve's my brother. Sure. Mike Love, that's my brother. Corey, that's my brother. Yeah. You know, I get to tell people that because. You know, you guys, you guys are all amazing, bro. And and this thing that we get to do to help people find that gig, I think is it's it's an honor, and it's amazing. And you, my friend, have hmm. magic, bro. You, the mana is strong, bro. Oh, well, thank you, brother. Yeah. And, and you know, likewise too, man. When when you play, it's just like, oh, this guy. <laughs> Explain that to me. Then you start speaking theory. I was like, <laughs> where, like what? Where's the subtitle? <laughs> so, so for those of you that's, that's tuning in now, the the thing is, those who can do, those who cannot teach. So <laughs> I teach. They play. I just watch and and the only thought is no, no. My only thought is, damn, I'm gonna have to teach that. Mm. Oh, Corey. Oh, Kale. Oh no. Then. Mother Trucker. Oh, you guys making no, me but, work. <laughs> nah, but but you you know you're a great musician to your ability where you can just decipher everything you that you see and that you hear, and that's that's your gift right there, man. And it's just it'll be it'll come up to you like that. It'll be, oh, he's doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you put you put the arithmetic. To the music, I, was just like, hmm, wow. I know what that is. <laughs> like, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, really? <laughs> no, but you, know, you guys, no, but like I said, I you guys. So. <laughs> Aaron is like, <laughs> cool. yep, I know what that is. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, wrong chord. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the E is too flat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you're a little sharp. Uh, you guys, Brad, no, for real, like, like, when I, when I, um, when I hear Noah play, like, it takes me back to high school. When I hear Corey and Kale play, it takes me back to like when you guys was young, because you guys they're, they're quite a bit younger than us. So when um, whenever you guys play, like I said, it, it it brings back a different time. And I think to me personally, and I know everybody that's watching, in these times that we're living in now, with, with everything going on, it's pretty nuts. You know what I mean? And Definitely. people need that break, bro. They need that time yeah. traveling. Just step away from everything. Throw it up politics. Yeah. Throw it up. You know, all the, all the hoo-hoo that's going on in the world, whatever, you know, you feel this way, you think, shut yeah. up, shut up, shut close up. your mouth. Let me listen to this. this. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Sometimes it's healing. You may exactly. cry. It's healing all yeah. the time. You may cry. Yeah. Some people may yeah. hear, and then they cry, and they, 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 they talk to somebody. It, it makes them jumpy. That's what I like to yeah. see, and that's what I like to, you know. All right. So, I mean, we've been talking about origins and stuff like that. So, um... I wanted to do two things. I wanted for like see this epic sounding guitar, but I also wanna hear the song that your father would teach you. Oh I yeah. Opihi moi moi. Yeah, definitely, man. And what does it mean in Hawaiian? Opihi go sleep. Yeah. So, so that's the little shells that's uh, stuck on a rock. The very <laughs> delicious. Opihi moi moi. Yeah. Moi moi. Yeah, go sleep. 
Uh, which I would think it might be a lullaby, but I mean, it's kind of an up bass, uh, up bass kind of a song. So. Well, a bugger stuck in on the rock, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. Trying to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> up, but but uh, um, I'm not sure on the, on the Mo'olelo on why the um, um, the song was named that. But I mean, we're gonna ask Mr. Leonard Kawan. So. Yeah, man. Hopefully he can. Um, Help us out with the, the naming of that song. I think he must have wrote them down somewhere. In the, I think the Red Book. <laughs> I'm sure he's not that old. <laughs> but yeah, so um, the first uh, song that I ever got hooked on on playing guitar, and mind you, uh, Slacky, uh, this is uh, how it goes. All right. Uh, <laughs> so not exactly how I heard it, but then the, that was just my own interpretation. But that's the thing you get to you get to take them away and fool yeah. around with them and and, and yeah. bring it to a different level. Right? Uh, but I think I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know what, guys, we, we gotta do this again. No, bro. You, Definitely, gotta... bro. That, I enjoy playing music with all of you. Ah. Yeah. So what, aloha ball, and you can play something. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you guys want to hear? Whatever you like play, my brother. You, we just want to hear you. Player's choice. We just, bro, we're just, <laughs> here. We're we're just chilling. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got one. So this one is the... Uipo uh, Ona Ona. Oh, that's a one, uh, bro. I'll try to keep them short. I'm going to try to move to something else. Oh, I don't okay, know. Okay. I, I Could be surprised. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like when he made the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Go make Uncle Del proud. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christmas time. Ooh, there's a hint. There's a hint, guys. Pay attention. Okay, so here we go. Kuipo Ona Ona. Oh, yeah. And the first song that I did play, uh, just the, the mixing of um, the Kalapana song and the salt water. Yeah, a little correction there. It wasn't flying. I said flying, right? I think but it was like, naturally. Naturally. Yeah, by, yeah, sung by Kalapana. Yeah, so, flying yeah. on Speed of Moon Band. Yeah, Long exactly. Yeah, which was another beautiful song. Uncle Randy singing that. Woo! Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. One note out. So, uh, but yeah. Hey, Kalamai, sorry for, oh, for yeah. saying that it was flying. It was I, I. Naturally. <laughs> naturally, I was uh, wrong. But. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally. Yeah, naturally. That was the name of the song. Okay, so... So this one, um, this one number is called a Kuipo Ona Ona.
Wow. Oh my like god. <laughs> Dang. Ridiculous. Dang, that was. Dude, what'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I wasn't calling you dickish. <laughs> <laughs> something, something like this. <laughs> oh, oh, that, was, that was some oral thing. Oh, no, nah, thank you guys for having me here. Thank you, thank you guys. It's a pleasure and an honor. Oh, you no. can just keep that guitar. That's, that's <laughs> What? <laughs> he's just like he's just like. I, I don't here. need to play it anymore. Take him, take him, take him. Take, take this too. <laughs> have that a recording, everybody. Have that a recording. I can, I have that in it's, writing. His evidence, his evidence. Right there. I'll, I'll write it up. I'll write it up. Signature. <laughs> he's gonna make you sign a lifetime contract. Ah, Nui Nui. Oh, play for life. Super fine friends. But there you folks have it. We have uh, Aaron. Corey, and our special guest, Noah Campbell. My name is Clay. Thank you all for tuning us here, and especially a big mahalo to Aaron and Noah for joining us for this awesome evening recording a vlog as a Ohana. So hope you folks enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next one. Until then, aloha. 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 Yeah.